Have you ever wondered how much sugar you consume daily? It's a question that many of us overlook, but the answer could be a real eye-opener. Our modern diets are loaded with added sugars, often sneaking into our meals and snacks in ways we least expect. Take processed foods, for instance. They're convenient, sure, but they're also notorious for their high sugar content. And it's not just the sweet-tasting ones. Even savory items can harbor hidden sugars. Then there are beverages, a major culprit in our sugar saga. Sodas, energy drinks, and even some so-called healthy juices can pack a hefty sugar punch. And let's not forget about snacks. From fruit snacks to granola bars, many of these bite-sized treats are sugar traps in disguise. So the next time you reach for that quick bite or refreshing drink, take a moment to consider what you're really consuming. The truth is, you might be consuming more sugar than you think. So what happens when you consume too much sugar? This question might seem simple, but the answer is complex and far-reaching. The impact of excessive sugar intake on your health is profound, and it goes beyond just adding extra pounds. When we consume too much sugar, our bodies are thrown out of balance. The first place we see this is in our waistlines. The body converts excess sugar into fat, which can lead to obesity. But the effects of sugar don't stop there. Obesity is a gateway to a host of other health problems. It's a risk factor for type 2 diabetes, a disease where the body can't effectively use insulin, causing high blood sugar levels. Over time, this can cause nerve damage, kidney disease, and even blindness. Excessive sugar intake also puts a strain on the heart. It can lead to heart disease, the leading cause of death worldwide. The high levels of sugar in the bloodstream can damage your arteries and lead to blockages. These blockages can cause heart attacks and strokes, both of which can be fatal. But it's not just our physical health that suffers. Our mental health is also affected. Sugar can alter the balance of our brain chemicals, leading to mood swings and depression. It's a vicious cycle as these mood swings can trigger cravings for more sugar, leading to a downward spiral of health. Moreover, our energy levels take a hit. After a sugar rush, we often experience a sugar crash, leaving us feeling tired and lethargic. Clearly, reducing sugar is not just about losing weight, it's about improving your overall health. It's about breaking free from the grip of sugar and reclaiming your health. It's about feeling better, having more energy, and living a longer, healthier life. So let's take a look at how we can start to reduce our sugar intake and embark on a sugar detox. Now you might be asking, how can I reduce my sugar intake? Well, this is where a sugar detox comes into play. A sugar detox, as the name suggests, is all about removing or significantly reducing the amount of sugar in your diet. But it's more than just avoiding sweets. It's about cutting out all sources of added sugars and artificial sweeteners. You see, sugars can sneak into your diet in many forms. From the obvious culprits like soda and candy, to the less obvious ones like bread and salad dressings. A sugar detox brings these hidden sugars to light and helps you eliminate them from your diet. The purpose of a sugar detox is to help reset your palate, reduce cravings, and improve your overall health. It's not a quick fix, but a step towards a long-term healthier lifestyle. Remember, it's not about deprivation, but about making better choices. A sugar detox is your first step towards a healthier lifestyle. So how does one undertake a sugar detox? Well, it's simpler than you might think, but it does require some discipline and determination. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you on your way. Firstly, arm yourself with knowledge. Start reading food labels. You'd be surprised at how many products sneak in added sugars under various names. Look for terms like high fructose corn syrup, dextrose, maltose, and more. If you see these terms on the label, that's your cue to put the product back on the shelf. Secondly, opt for whole foods. These are foods that are not processed or refined or have undergone as little processing as possible. Whole foods include fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grains, and lean proteins. These foods are not only free from added sugars, but are also packed with essential nutrients that your body needs. Next, don't forget to stay hydrated. Water is your best friend during a sugar detox. It helps to flush out toxins and keeps you feeling full, which can curb your sugar cravings. Herbal tea and infusions can be great options too. Also, get regular exercise. Physical activity can help control your sugar cravings by reducing your desire for sweets. Plus, exercise releases chemicals in your brain that make you feel happier and more relaxed, so you're less likely to reach for sugary comfort foods. 
Additionally, prepare yourself for some possible side effects. As your body adjusts to a lower sugar intake, you may experience some withdrawal symptoms like headaches or mood swings. Don't worry, this is normal and temporary. Stay strong and remember why you started this journey. Last but not least, enlist the support of your friends and family. Share your goals with them and invite them to join you on your sugar detox. Having a support system can make the process much easier and more enjoyable. Remember, the goal here is to reset your palate and curb your sugar cravings. It's not about deprivation, but about developing healthier eating habits for a better, more vibrant life. It's a challenging journey, but the rewards are well worth it. Before we continue, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching. We truly appreciate your time and your dedication to improving your health. If you found value in this video, please do us a favor and hit that like button. It's a small act that goes a long way in supporting our work. Also, if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot more health tips and guides coming your way. And while you're at it, why not click on that bell icon too? That way, you'll be the first to know when we upload new content. We'd also love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried a sugar detox before? How was your experience? Your comments and insights could be the spark that inspires someone else to take their first step towards a healthier lifestyle. Now let's move on to the next part of our sugar detox journey. Scene script. Sugar detox is not always a walk in the park. It's like a frenemy you're trying to distance yourself from but keeps coming back with tempting whispers of sweet nothings. You might experience withdrawal symptoms such as headaches, fatigue, and intense cravings. But don't let these temporary discomforts discourage you. Let's talk about how to manage these symptoms and stay committed to the detox. First, headaches. They're common when you cut out sugar as your body adjusts to the new normal. To combat this, stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water and eat foods with high water content like cucumbers and watermelon. Regular exercise can also help. Just a simple walk or jog can release endorphins, your body's natural painkillers. Next, fatigue. When you consume less sugar, your body initially reliant on sugar for energy might feel sluggish. To counter this, ensure you're getting enough sleep. Also, replace the sugar with healthy complex carbohydrates like whole grains and vegetables. These provide a more sustained energy release, keeping you energized throughout the day. Now, cravings. Probably the trickiest part of sugar withdrawal. Your taste buds might yearn for the sweetness they are accustomed to, but remember, it's all about retraining your palate substitute sugar with natural sweeteners like fruits and when the cravings hit distract yourself read a book take a walk or meditate often the cravings are more psychological than physical finally to stay committed to the detox have a strong support system surround yourself with people who understand and support your journey keep a journal to track your progress celebrate your small victories like resisting a piece of cake at a party so yes sugar detox can be challenging but with the right strategies and a dash of determination, you can successfully navigate the sugar withdrawal phase. And the reward is so worth it. Better health, more energy, and a renewed sense of well-being. Remember, it's a journey, and every step brings you closer to better health. We've come a long way in understanding sugar detox. This journey we've embarked on together has shown us the unseen amounts of sugar hidden in our everyday diet and the impact it has on our health. We've delved into what a sugar detox is and how to carry it out effectively. And let's not forget the all too real struggle of coping with sugar withdrawal. Yet we've also seen the light at the end of the tunnel, the numerous benefits of reducing our sugar intake and the better health that awaits us. So are you ready to break free from added sugars? It's a challenging journey, no doubt. But remember, every step towards reducing your sugar intake is a step towards a healthier, more vibrant you. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Your journey to a healthier lifestyle starts now.